Hi guys, uh, since doing the salted ragworm video, I've had a lot of interest in uh, other baits such as squid, um, mackerel, you know, all sorts, bluey. So I thought I'd do um, a few different videos going through salting the different baits and seeing how they turn out. So this video is going to be on squid. Um, this is just um, a box of squid that I got from the tackle shop. Um, you know, it's not what I'd normally use, but it's all they had, so it's what I had to use. What it is, is baby squid. It's very small, so all of this is really, all I'd use this for is bream fishing, really. But you do get quite a few in there. Um, so let me just put you up here in the kettle. Never done this before, so you know, it's just gonna is what it is. Not doing it uh, too dissimilar from how I did the ragworm. All I've done is got a tray, lined it with foil this time just because I'm not too worried about getting all the moisture out. Right, let me move the uh, squid up so I don't drip it everywhere. Uh, what I'm going to do, 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 do. Oh, so I'm going to get a knife and you're just going to go in the squid to the point and then just open it up just like that you keep all the guts in there as you can see and I'm just going to lay it down in the salt and I'll do that with all of them leave that there see what I'm doing then. As you can tell I've moved into my new place now. It's a bit bigger. It's easier to do uh, these videos as well. We've got uh, light just behind me that I can move around and it's like a white light so it doesn't make the camera flicker so that makes things a lot easier. up to you if you want to take the bones out for those of you that do or don't know what that is it's the thin clear plastic like material that you get down the back of the uh, squid there different to a cuttlefish a cuttlefish you get a big white bone calcium bone thing That's different. That's a fish. Wow. That's got a little spine on top. Where, where does this come from? Product of India. I'm going to have to look in to see what fish these are, guys. I picked it up, I thought, oh, they're long tentacles. And then the head was bony. It just looks almost like a little catfish. Don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that out. And have a look at that. <laughs> this is supposed to be human eating. There's fish in it. Don't bother. I'm looking forward to seeing how this turns out. It should be nice and tough. And perfect for bream fishing. Right, I'm just going to chuck some more salt on top. Mm. 
not going to completely cover them, same as the ragworm. <clears throat> I'm just going to lay a bit of newspaper down. Even for the mini species guys, this would probably be a really good bait. Or uh, putting on sabikis or mackerel feathers just tipping off. I went out fishing last night um, down on Halen Island, East Oak Corner. I had this squid with me. Um, sand eel, mackerel, peeler crab and uh, I didn't get a bite. The bait didn't even get touched all night so not quite sure what's going on at the minute. That's four blanks in a row for me. I only had two or three blanks in the whole of last year. But oh well that's fishing isn't it. <coughs> That's fishing. That was a big old. <laughs> Got a very small squid there. I know it's only the top part and not the head, but that's tiny. I'm just going to leave that hole. And then there's the backbone. Look, just take that out. This one's quite a big one compared to the rest. Should have loads of guts. There's the other bit of the backbone. We've got a big head here. Uh, I'm cut that in half. Open it up like that. Lay that down. Another bit of newspaper. Salt. Salt. If you think about it, for 18p this salt cost. I've done all the ragworm. I'm doing this squid now. And think about how much money you're going to save yourself just by doing this. The birds are actually being quiet for once. find the opening on some of these are so small I like to use baby squid but the ammo pack of baby squid it's a bit bigger than these and better quality in my opinion Let me know uh, how you guys are getting on fishing as well. Hopefully it's not just uh, my local area that's dead. Well, I say hopefully. I mean, I hope you're catching fish, but it's very odd. Oh, yeah, guys, now there's a crab leg. Yeah. 
Yeah, some weird st stuff in here. <laughs> A variety of quality seafood from Asia, apparently. It's supposed to be squid, and I've found a fish, a crab leg. <laughs> this is the first ever box I've bought. God knows what's in the rest. You could probably just do it all in a big bowl of like salt if you wanted, but. Just gonna see how this goes. I can see a different crab leg in there now, guys. A little orange one. There we go, there's something. Some sort of leg. And we got another little crab leg. I think that's all the weird and wonderful stuff I don't know what that is, I think that might be another fish So it's like a little sucker pad or something under there. Well, I don't recommend people buying this squid to fish with. No, I didn't get a bite on it. So that's done. I'll have another look at this. Yeah, it's definitely some sort of <clears throat> oh, it's catfishy shape. See his whiskers at the front there as well. If anyone knows what that is, let me know. But uh, oh. Looks like the back end of a fish. I don't know. Or even a shrimp, maybe. God knows, some weird stuff in there. And that is what it is. Asian star seafood. A variety of quality seafood from Asia. Does it say human consumption anywhere? Here you go. It says a uh, baby squid. Block frozen. Having a look through. That was frozen on the 4th of May 2019, best before the 3rd of May Oh, it is for human consumption. There you go, cooking instructions. Defrost thoroughly and cook fully prior to consumption. Well, I wouldn't advise anyone eating that. But yeah, so I'll check this in a couple of hours and uh, we'll let you know how it goes. Right guys, so it's been uh, salting for probably 12 hours-ish. I've had to wrap it in a bin bag because it uh, did smell quite a lot last night. It was left by a window, window was open just to get the breeze on it. The same principle as a ragworm. This is the first I'm seeing of it, so. Let's uh, get another bit of newspaper.
Right, as you can see, the paper is pretty wet. That's right, so it sort of works already. It's a little bit wet on that side, but let me just get all these bits off. I think it might need salting again. I should have probably changed the paper earlier. Um, or maybe a couple of times like you did with the, the ragworm, but I thought I'd just leave it and see how it turned out with this lot. It's up to you with this stage, you can either put your salt in a tub and uh, leave the lid off and let it dry out, but I'm just going to get rid of it. Yeah, this is still uh, a fair bit wet, but you can see it's starting to stiffen up already just by the way it's not completely collapsing over. Yeah, so it's getting slightly damper the further down you go, but look, it's still, still pretty good. Yeah, this stuff's, you can see the difference, it's a fair bit wetter. I'm just going to chuck that bit of paper in there. Put that to one side a minute. And cover them up quick, eh? Right, all I'm going to do is lay this out on the paper quick. Don't have to be perfect. And then I'm going to get another piece. And just press down on it. Just to see how much moisture comes out. A little bit, not too much. Just repeat the process, guys. I'm actually going to flip them over and salt them this time. Now, it's up to you if you want to wear gloves, guys. Um, everyone's different, but I should really wear gloves, as when I do this, it dries my uh, hands out and my skin does peel a little bit for a couple of weeks after. All right, there you go, guys. That is the second time it's all being resalted. <clears throat> I'm just gonna go and put this out. Uh, where should I put it? I'll put it in the shed and see how it dries in there. There we go, guys, second day now. It's probably been going 24 hours. Just uh, come in to check. This time I left it in the shed. There you go. That's what you want. You can still bend it and whatever. But it's nice and firm. Yeah, that's nice. Where's the heads? There's a head. Cool. Put all that into one tray. Okay. So 
gonna put that down there a minute. And just get rid of this. All right then, just come in from the shed. Here's a squid, I'm just gonna get some salt off. And there we are, that's what it looks like. Nice and nice and tough. <laughs> that's a tentacle. I'm not gonna be able to do anything with that. Just chuck it in there anyway. Lovely. There's a head. Well, this is a good little experiment. So squid is another thing you can salt down. I'm sure there's other videos out there, but I've not looked. I just got asked to do some. So, let's try and get a mud shovel. Just chucking it into a butter tub, as you can see. I mean, I'd rather put it into a, a Chinese tub, but this is all I've got at the minute. The small pieces are really good. Just see how stiff that is. That's going to be really good for the mini species or black bream. Looking forward to trying this out. There we go. The whole squid. I'm sure the smell will die down uh, when I get rid of all the salt and that. And it's in the tub. I've got a feeling this is going to be a very good bait. It's tough, it's going to be hard to get off the hook. But yeah, there we go. If you like this video guys, there's going to be uh, another salt of bait tutorial video sort of thing coming up soon. Um, I'm going to do mackerel, uh, maybe bluey and sand eel. So yeah, if you're interested, keep an eye out for those. Um, you can click the little bell somewhere below the video and select uh, all notifications and that way you'll never miss an upload but yeah if you liked it hit the like button and uh, always if you haven't already subscribe